Hey everyone! In today's video, we are going to learn storage and connection modes in Power BI. We have covered data preparation and transformation in Power Query Editor in our previous videos, right? If you want to master data preparation in Power BI, go and watch those videos and I will provide the links in description. Now, we know how to load the data into Power BI, but what is the process behind it? That is, how Power BI is connecting to the data source and how it is storing the data in Power BI. So these are the questions which we will answer in this video. Let's get started. So what is connection mode? So connection mode refers to how Power BI connects to a data source to retrieve the data. So it determines whether Power BI imports data into its in memory model or queries the data live from the source. So we are having different types in the connection mode. So those are import mode, direct query mode and live connection. Let us see in detail. Coming to the import mode. So data is imported into Power BI's in memory model. So which enables faster performance and offline access. So it requires periodic data refreshes. Now here data from the original source that is either Excel or SQL Server is pulled into the Power BI using Power Query Editor where it can be transformed that is cleaning, filtering, shaping. So after transformation the data is imported and stored in Power BI's in-memory model. Okay. Now this in-memory model serves as the central location where all the queries are processed and also relationships are enforced and some DAX measures, calculations and tables are evaluated. Now, coming to the query execution. When a user interacts with the report view, the Power BI sends a DAX query to the in-memory model. So the model retrieves the required data processes any calculations and sends the results to the visual for rendering. Okay, so this is the process that is going behind whenever we are interacting with our visuals and when we use the import mode while we are connecting to the data source. So in this connection mode, that is in this particular import mode, the advantages are performance as the data is stored in memory Queries are processed much faster. Okay. And offline access. So reports and dashboards remain functional even if the original data source is offline. Right. And also we have full access to report view, data view and model view. And also we can perform all the transformations. Okay. So this is what import mode is. Now let us see the next one which is direct query mode. Now, so in direct query mode, data remains in the source, data source, and it is queried live. So here, the no data is stored in Power BI, which ensures the real-time updates. Now, you can see, when a user interacts with the report visual, Power BI generates a query, which is a DAX or SQL, and sends it to the data source for execution. And the result of the query is sent back to the Power BI for visualization. So, since the data remains at the, in the data source, any updates to the data in the source are reflected in Power BI visuals without needing a data refresh. Okay. So, here it represents the data model where which manages the relationships and DAX calculations. Even though the data is not stored, relationships and metadata are still defined in Power BI, even in the direct query mode. Okay. Now it is best suited for the scenarios where real time or near real time data updates are required so, or when dealing with the large data sets that cannot fit into the Power BI's memory. So this is what direct query mode is and coming to the live connection. So here in live connection, Power BI connects directly to an external data model. So that is 
सिक्वेंस है वो एनालिसिस सर्विसेस और मल्टी डायमेंशनल और एज्योर एनालिसिस सर्विसेस और इट मे बी पावर बी आई डेटा सेट इन पावर बी आई सर्विस सो अनलाइक इम्पोर्ट मोड नो डेटा इज लोडेड इन टू दावर बी आई मेमोरी सो ऑल द डेटा रिमाइंड इन द एक्सटर्नल डेटा सोर्स सो वेन एवर ए यूजर इंटरक्ट विद द विजुअल्स पावर बी आई सेंड्स क्वेरी डायरेक्टली टू द एक्सटर्नल मॉडल सो द एक्सटर्नल मॉडल प्रोसेस इज द क्वेरी एंड रिटर्न द रिजल्ट टू द पावर बी आई सो हियर the power bi report acts as a front end visualization layer you cannot modify the model that is relationships you cannot modify the calculated columns or you cannot even use the power query so here the real time updates are supported as all the data processing happens in the external system so you can see that the connection between power bi and the external model right the data stays in the external model and queries are executed live now here whenever we use the live connection we do not even have the data view tab in our power bi desktop we only have the report view and we can only view the model view but we cannot make any changes we cannot edit that model view now if we see the complete difference in a table format you can see for the data storage in import the data can be imported for direct query it remains at the data source and even for the live connection data remains at the data source coming to the data refresh as the data is static it requires manual refresh to get the updated data right when coming to the direct query and live connection as we are getting the data directly from the data source the data will be real time and coming to the performance we know that for import mode it is high performance with fast queries as our data is imported into our local storage right whereas coming to the direct query it depends on the query execution speed of the data source right and coming to the live connection it also depends on the source system performance and coming to the data modeling so in for import mode we have the full control and power over the data modeling and also for transformations we can perform all the transformations in our power query whereas for the direct query as the data is at the data source we cannot perform all the transformations like pivoting or grouping or aggregating we cannot perform as the data is at the data source we can only perform the basic transformations like renaming changing the data types so these are the basic transformations like these are can be performed on the direct query mode data sets and for live connection we do not have any data modeling tab we will be only having report view and also the model view where we can only view the relationships but we cannot do any editing and here i am having a simple use case for each of the connection mode so coming to the import mode as we are importing the data so we can use the use case like historical analysis where static data is sufficient so we do not want a real time data in those cases we can use the import mode and coming to the direct query so we if we need some real time analysis and we are having very large data sets that cannot be imported in power bi we can go with the direct query and coming to the live connection so if we need real time dashboards when up to date data is needed and also we are having that particular semantic models in the analysis services or we are using the power bi data sets at that time we are going to use the live connection so these are the simple use cases for each of the connection mode so connection mode applies at the data source level and determines how power bi interacts with the source so that is what connection mode now let us get into the storage mode so storage mode determines how power bi manages the data of a specific table within the model so connection mode is related to the complete data set whereas storage mode manages the data of a specific table within the table so it defines whether the data is stored in memory queried live or uses a hybrid approach now again here we are having different types the first one is import mode as we know the tables data is loaded into power bi's 
in memory model so which provides fast performance but require refreshes to update the data and next type is direct query so the tables data remains in the source and queries are executed live for each interaction with the visual and the next one is dual mode which is a hybrid mode where the table can act as both import and direct query based on the query context so which offers flexibility and performance optimization so here the storage mode can be defined in the model view whereas connection mode is defined when we are loading the data so let us see that difference right in power bi desktop in get data we are having different data source options and from here we can choose the data source we want so for data sources such as excel workbook and text csv we are not having an option to choose between the connectivity by default they are connected by import mode but coming to the power bi semantic models we can use a live connection and for analysis services also we use the live connect and coming to the databases like sql server or some data first data flows we use the direct query or the import mode so when i click on sql server we are having an option to give the server name and we can provide the database and as we know we are having the multiple tables in a database right so when i click on the particular database i am having access to the all the tables and if i choose the data connectivity mode as as import then for all the tables by default the storage mode also will be import so once it is import we cannot change the connectivity or storage mode it is an irreversible operation but if i choose it to be a direct query then for all the tables i can choose either direct query or import or i can also choose the dual mode in the storage mode so the storage mode is not visible here it is visible in the model view once we load the data okay so here the, it is the connectivity mode how power bi connects to the data source whereas storage mode is how we are going to store the data in the power bi right so when i use the import by default storage mode also will be import but when i use the direct query we are having an option to choose between the storage mode for each and every table of this particular database which we are using so i already have the excel workbook so as excel workbook is by default import so for that particular table you can see that in the properties pane of the table in the advanced options we are having storage mode which is disabled because by default it is an import mode hence the storage mode it will also be in the import mode but when we choose the direct query and loaded the multiple tables so for each table we are having an option three options import direct query and dual and we can choose between them but even remember if we use the direct query for the connection mode and if we kept the storage mode as import for a particular table it is an irreversible action we cannot again change it to direct query or dual mode so these are the different connection modes and for each table we are having different storage modes so if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you